In this video I replace a toroid with two small 10 microhenry chokes. I thought for this to work the chokes would have to be right next to each other but they don't. One way over here and the other one's way over here. They're quite a ways apart. To get it to work with the chokes I had to add a 400 picofarad capacitor from the collector to where the diode and the choke come together. For this to work you have to use a 2N222 transistor. I couldn't get it to work off a MPSA06. You also have to use a 1N4148 diode. Here's a spectrum on it. The main spikes at about 5.9 and it stretches down to just below 40 megahertz.